for goodness snowflakes it's ice to see you again welcome to the second day of district convention we got a long day ahead of us to so make sure to stay hydrated make some new friends and of course participate in everything that was prepared for us this weekend so go freeze the day our iciest weather anchors for tonight are our fall training conference chair aaron lee and of course our district membership development and educations chair amy bryant with that I call to order our second general session for our district convention. Thank you, Kat. I'm Amy from CNH News, serving as the Membership Development and Education Chair. And I am Aaron, and I serve as the Fall Trade Conference Chair. Hey, Amy, want to hear a fun weather fact about something in CNH? Sure. Did you know that the fog in the Bay Area is known as Carl with a K? Oh, no way. <laughs> I got a fog pun that includes Carl. What did Carl the Fog say to his long best friend? I missed you. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> well, speaking of the Bay Area, please welcome Dennis Lim, the Golden Gate Lieutenant Governor, to lead us in the flight salute. From its first inception over two centuries ago, the American flag is a symbol of our nation's freedom and unity. Each star representing one of our 50 states of the Union and 13 stripes for the original 13 colonies. Its three colors, red for hardiness and valor, blue for justice, vigilance and perseverance, and white for purity and innocence, have waved over our nation ever since and continued to guide and provide us with all a sense of hope. Before we recite the Pledge of Allegiance, let's take a moment to remember all who we have fought for our freedom. Now, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance and place your right hand over your heart. Veterans and active service members are invited to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Please stay for the patriotic song. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesties above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on Good afternoon, CNH. I hope you all got enough sleep after that late night and the early afternoon of caucus questions. Even in a global pandemic, we have persevered and are holding our elections online. And this is only just one part of the fun today. There are three more workshop sessions to go today, so get those notepads and computer notes ready. Utilize your time today to network, meet new people, and get involved. District convention is my favorite event of the year, and it can be easy while at home to not participate. Please make sure to go to events the decon committee have been planning this entire year. Hopefully you can experience the true convention experience, even in the comfort of your own home. Have a great time with the rest of the convention. Thank you, Matt. Now to the Capital Regional Advisor and Director of the Kiwanis Family House, Dan Germain, to present one of our district fundraising initiatives. Before I share my message of thanks with all of you, I'd like to share the following brief video and hope that in viewing it, you will appreciate the impact of your support on the lives and the health of the families that we serve at Kiwanis Family House. Kiwanis Family House in Sacramento is the only one in the world if it weren't for UC Davis, we wouldn't be here because they have made available to us the property on which this house sits. We have hosted families here from every state in the United States and 35 other countries and territories. 
we provide a place for family members to stay and sometimes patients themselves uh, stay here when they have to come to UC Davis to deal with uh, serious injury or illness. To be eligible to stay here, the patient can be either an adult or a child. The medical professionals save lives. Kiwana saves families. When they have to go away for an extended period of time, it's an added stress for them. Good morning. We see that on the health of the parents to be able to come here is vital. Nothing replaces really the direct uh, physical interaction that they can have. We provide everything here from a place to sleep, a place to decompress, have a meal, interact with other families who are in Sacramento dealing with very similar circumstances. What we do contributes to healing. That's huge. My husband had his heart attack back where we live. They told me they were gonna flight him out. I don't have a vehicle and I didn't have money and I couldn't let him be here without me. To sit there and not know if he's gonna live, it's hard. There I am trying to have to worry about where am I gonna sleep? You know, what am I gonna eat? Uh, where am I gonna take a shower, you know? What am I gonna do? And I found out about the Kiwanis house. I knew she wasn't starving, I knew she was protected. I knew she had a place, a clean place to sleep. Yeah, I, it comforted me a lot. I think it probably helped me get, get through the surgery. It definitely helped being here to have the stability and the support. It's like a home. We need individual donations as much as we need any other category of, of financial support. If I had money, this would definitely be the place that I would donate my money to. I can't tell you how many families have told us if it weren't for Kiwanis Family House, we would have not made it through this challenge. My husband's alive and I'm safe. For the past nine years, I've had the great honor and pleasure of serving as executive director of Kiwanis Family House. I have always valued your warm convention welcome and my chance to tell you how much that your support means to us, families that we serve as they endure medical crises away from home. Given my impending retirement, this will be my final appearance before you as director of Kiwanis Family House. One of the highlights of my tenure at KFH was hearing a few short years ago that the CNH district of Circle K was adopting Kiwanis Family House as a district-wide fundraising initiative. Since then, I'm very pleased and proud to tell you that you have raised over $100,000 for Kiwanis Family House. You'll also be interested to hear that, that that figure equates to 2,000 guest nights of lodging at KFH for low-income families who are unable to uh, afford our modest rent request. I hope you all know that KFH serves all families, regardless of ability to pay the modest rent that we request. I wanna also say that in that regard, KFH has never faced a greater financial challenge than we are currently facing given the COVID pandemic. It has been difficult for all of us to fundraise in the ways that we are accustomed. But I'll tell you that I have great confidence that we will endure 
the pandemic, we'll get back to a comfortable way of life, a more normal way of life. And finally, I would like to say to all of you as a Kiwanian, as a Circle K alum, and as a fellow servant leader, I value you, Circle K. I am proud of you. Hello, Sunny C and H. I hope you're enjoying district convention so far. Today is day two of district convention weekend. And I have a quick question for you. Don't you think the weather is kind of cool today? But you want to know who's even cooler? The district convention advisors, Camille Goulet and Ronald Liu. I just wanted to take this opportunity this weekend to really show my appreciation and gratitude for both Camille and Ron for all the support and guidance that they have given to both myself and the district convention committee. And I know the both of you guys are watching this right now, but I just want to say without you guys, um, without the help that you guys provided during this crazy term, with all the obstacles that we experienced, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much from both my heart and the district convention committee's heart for all the amazing support you have given us. And with that being said, I hope everyone else can enjoy district convention weekend since we have today and tomorrow and district convention will be done. But aside from that, I will now please welcome district governor Catherine Huang for some of district chair updates. Is it hot in here or is it our spicy flaming hot house of delegate session. Get your water ready and your milk ready for some updates on our spicy house of delegate session presented by none other than our elections chair Eddie Castillo and more on our emotional award session by our member recognitions chair Luke Barella. Back to you Luke. Hello CNH. I hope that all of you guys have been having an amazing decon with plenty of sunshine and without a cloud in the sky. This Sunday, there's going to be a 100% chance of rain awards, as we will be presenting over 20 different awards via the CNH YouTube channel. Tune into our live stream as we recognize our clubs, club officers, district committee members, and for the first time ever, our divisional leadership team members. Though this term has been filled with inclement weather all season, I hope that everyone finds a shimmering rainbow at the end of this storm as we remember the trials and tribulations from this year. Thank you to everyone who applied for district awards this year. I hope to see you all on Sunday. See you later. Hello again, this is just a quick reminder that House of Delegates will begin after this general session. Uh, you may continue to ask candidates questions up until the beginning of House of Delegates. Uh, only registered delegates will be able to take part in the actual process, but members are more than welcome to attend through a provided audience link. Please be respectful to the candidates and the House of Delegates moderators by being punctual and attentive. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you guys there soon. Continuing on, we will now hear more news from our wonderful professional exposition chair, Kate Darius. Burr. Hey there, ICCNH. My name is Kate Darius, and I'm the professional exposition chair for this year's district convention. The professional exposition is a great opportunity for members to explore different careers, seek mentorship, and expand their network with the help of professionals from different fields and backgrounds. The format for the Pro Expo this year will be a Zoom call with multiple breakout rooms for each professional presentation. There will be two sessions of presentations, with each session lasting for about 45 minutes. I hope you are all as excited as I am. I want to some workshops. We have three workshop sessions to offer you today to navigate the heavy winter snow. Grab your shovels and laptops and hope to see you there. And with that, please welcome your talent show chair, Brandon, with some talent show reminders. Hello, CNH. With everything the district convention has to offer, we can't forget about the annual district talent show. This year, we have a variety of acts performed by members all over CNH. The show starts tonight at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time or 4.30 Hawaiian Standard Time. And finally, at the end of the night, you get to choose who takes home the People's Choice Award. So grab your umbrella because it's about to rain with CNH talent. Thank you and I can't wait to see you there. Please welcome our district convention entertainment chair, Marcel Rodriguez, to discuss tonight's entertainment. Hello, CNH. My name is Marcel Rodriguez and I am your entertainment chair for district convention 2021. I hope you guys enjoy this weekend's activities. 
And remember, the best things in life are freeze. Catch some fog and that Missy super cool merch by filling out our super breezy form on our website or mobile app by March 20th to receive your very own Decon Souvenir package. Still cloudy with your questions? Contact your co-deco chairs at cki.decon.decorations at gmail.com. Let's head over to Joan Ash and Kelly with our honors reception. Hello, Hello CNH. CNH, and we are your honors reception hosts. Just a reminder to please attend on Sunday at 5 p.m. to honor our wonderful and amazing seniors. We will be having Tommy Thatch as our senior graduating speaker. We will also have Craig Wallace to present the Kiwana Scholarship recipients. The Zoom link for honors reception can be found under the schedule tab on our website, decon.cnhcircleK.org. We send it back to you, Yvonne. Good afternoon, CNH. Remember to abide by the code of conduct and follow the dress code as stated in your program guides. To pen pals participating, the decon challenges are due tonight at 11.59 p.m., so make sure you get them in. Now, please welcome Desert Oasis Lieutenant Governor Vanessa Mesa Perez. Hello, hello, it is Vanessa once again. And before we close off the second general session and head off into the winter full evening, I just wanted to say a few things. First, before this weekend is over, please take some time to congratulate the Decon Committee for all of their amazing work this weekend. Your guys' work does not go unnoticed or unappreciated, so truly, thank you for such a fun weekend so far. Second, I know that we're not in person and we can't have our crying moments and celebratory hugs over the awards going on tonight, but that doesn't mean that we can't have our sim sessions on Zoom. <laughs> so be sure to tune into a divisional watch party this weekend and join in on the warm vibes and the love going on during the awards session. All right, I hope everyone is recognized for their hard work this term. Enjoy the upcoming spicy talent acts and once again, good luck if you apply for an award. So bring your tissues tonight. And also y'all, please remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna peace out now, but see y'all tonight. With that, Saturday afternoon district convention is coming to a close, but all hope is not for us. We still have a lot of things coming for us later today, from thaw dropping House of Delegates, to honors reception, to talent shows and workshops. There's still a bunch of fun activities waiting for us. After all that is sled and done, you snow it to yourself to make this the best online district convention yet. With that, I adjourn this session and enjoy the rest of your night.